sitting there peacefully minding their own business, waiting for the turn on the, on the phone. And the man who shot a viral video of a woman zip-tied at this Winnipeg hotel is speaking out for the first time, saying the only person he felt was in danger during the situation was the woman at the heart of the video. It just popped off like real fast, like real hectically fast. And I was like, what the hell's going on here? Willie Nicholas says he was at the Marlboro Hotel on December 25th getting change and saw the young woman in the video waiting on the phone before the incident, describing her as, quote, quiet as a mouse, end quote. He claims the next moment the woman was surrounded by men and shouting, stressing while it happened fast and he didn't realize the woman was being zip-tied. When he saw the scene in front of him unfold, he felt something was off. You're just standing there peacefully and why the hell are these guys hauling her away zip-tied? That's when he decided to record, saying he never saw a knife present at the scene, nor did he feel the woman was a danger to the men in the video. He says the claims about the knife are an exaggeration and that he captured the incident on camera in hopes the men involved were charged. Attempts to get comment from the hotel by City News were unsuccessful on Wednesday. Winnipeg Police Service said the investigation is ongoing, noting while the woman in the video has been charged with assault with a weapon and a knife was recovered, there were no injuries reported as a result of the incident. Police said earlier this week they are also investigating allegations of human trafficking at the hotel, which led to a protest Sunday that left the basement of the hotel damaged. That goes to show you the anger of our people. Calling for the hotel to release any security footage it has to support its claims the woman was armed. Longtime activist Eddie Barona, who first shared the video online, says the destruction was a reaction to ongoing issues in the city and the province. He believes it's a systematic racism inflicted on Indigenous people by Canadians and the indifference of the white community as a whole that creates an environment where this kind of behaviour is considered acceptable. They said the only thing that should happen here is that there's a crime that was committed here. They need to go to jail. They need to be persecuted. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.